In the rapidly evolving world of the TikTok dropshipping game, winning products come and go in a flash. What's performing well today might only be profitable for a matter of days. With so many people shifting their efforts solely towards TikTok organic, competition is fierce. To truly succeed, you need to be thinking outside of the box. But here's the exciting part. TikTok dropshipping has taken the world by storm and the potential to build a thriving e-commerce business leveraging its reach has never been better than before without spending a dime on marketing costs. Imagine soaring to multiple thousands of dollars a day in revenue within a matter of weeks. Well, that is entirely possible because myself and thousands of others have done it. And it all starts with finding the right product, which is exactly what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. And just before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to a client of mine inside of Outright Ecom we've been working with over the past few weeks. So congratulations to Zachary Fuller. Within two weeks, struggling to find his first winning product, to finding it and now scaling up to 400 dollar days and beyond. If you guys want to learn how he's done it along with hundreds of others and join an amazing community, that'll be the first link down below in the description. So don't forget to check that out. Now, without any further ado, this is going to be the most comprehensive guide in 2023 and beyond for finding winning dropshipping products on Shopify. Grab your notebooks, get comfy because this video is going to be unlike anything you've ever seen before when it comes to a product research guide. First things first, you have to know what a million dollar product looks like. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's very straightforward. I use a simple four step framework to determine exactly what products you should be selling and how you should be finding them. And before we get into the specifics, I need to address the number one thing that's gonna allow you to not only find the product, but market it in a way that's gonna generate you thousands of dollars and potentially millions into the future. Now, this is something that goes over everybody's head. For whatever reason, it's not talked about at all. Maybe people are trying to gatekeep it, or maybe people just don't know about it at all, but I don't think that's the reason. I think the reason is that it's hiding in plain sight and those who do truly conceptualize and understand it simply forget to teach it and share it with others. You need to have a product that is gonna make somebody feel something internally. Look, nobody needs your dropshipping product, okay? If they have a physiological need, as in they need that product to survive, to live, to carry out day-to-day -day functions, they're gonna go directly to Amazon and order it with same day shipping, or they're gonna walk to their local drugstore, pharmacy, supermarket, etc. People who buy your products are gonna be mindlessly scrolling through social media in search of their next cheap dopamine hit, AKA they're bored of their daily mundane life and they wanna feel something. That's why they've turned to social media in the first place. So you need to find a product and market it in a way that evokes some serious emotion. This is literally the biggest key that nobody talks about. So keep that in mind and let's keep moving forward. The first criteria of your winning product is that it needs to have some kind of problem solving aspect or needs to serve a purpose in somebody's life. I feel like that in itself is pretty self-explanatory, but when it comes to the marketing, the reason why it needs to be problem solving is so you can clearly articulate the benefits and the direct results that somebody is going to have by purchasing your product. You need to paint the picture of the product in a genuinely useful light and showcase just how much that product is going to improve somebody's life when they actually go ahead and make the purchase. And the good news is people tend to have the same problem. So if you can solve a particular pain point for one customer, likely there's an entire market to be tapped into and taken advantage of. The second most important criteria is the product needs to have a wow factor. Now I know you've heard this one before, but I'm going to explain it to you in a way that nobody else ever could. The reason the wow factor is so important is because due to the rapid rise of social media being prevalent in everybody's lives for one hour, two hours, sometimes even four or five hours plus, people's attention spans have spiraled out of control, especially especially with short form content. I mean, think about it. If you're on your feed scrolling through TikTok and the video doesn't capture you and engage you and make you feel something within literally the first three seconds, what are you gonna do? You're gonna scroll right on to the next one. And the same principles apply from when you're trying to sell and market your product. So the easiest way to make wow factor creatives or wow factor marketing is to simply have a product so darn good that it sells itself when people look at it. That way you can save your creative efforts and by simply taking videos of the product in use, they're much more likely to go viral and actually convert to sales. This is not gonna be possible if you're selling some boring old product like this glass. Third biggest criterion for a winning product is its exclusivity level. This may sound a bit confusing at first, but it's really simple. And it basically means that this needs to be a product that people cannot find at their local gas station, Walmart, or potentially even on Amazon. And ideally, the product needs to be unique, okay? It's not something that they're seeing every couple videos on their TikTok feed or they're always seeing on their Instagram explore page. And I guess this also ties into the 
second criteria, the wow factor, but basically you need to catch people's attention with something that they likely have never seen before. Otherwise, it's gonna be very difficult. The fourth and final point when it comes to qualifying your product is making sure that there is a vast potential for growth in the future. Unless you wanna throw up some scammy dropshipping site and try to make a quick bag, which by the way, it's not 2017 anymore, so good luck with that. You need to be picking a product where you see a long-term vision for that brand and where it could potentially go. I tend to look for products that are typically in an evergreen market. You can sell year round and it's in an exploding industry, meaning that the space is only getting bigger and bigger and the demand for that product is only gonna grow. You also need to keep your margins, your markups and the pricing in mind. I usually like to find products that I can sell in the 15 to $50 range, especially when it comes to TikTok. Now think about this from the perspective of the buyer, right? Remember back when I said these are mindless scrollers looking for their next cheap dopamine hit? These purchasers are not in the frame of mind to make an informed, educated purchase. If they were, they would have gone to Amazon or they would have gone to Walmart or somewhere trusted that they already know as an established brand in their head. They would have done the research beforehand. They would know exactly how much they're gonna pay and exactly what product they're seeking to buy. Because they're simply just looking for their next little bit of stimulation, chances are you won't be able to sell them a $500 product because usually a lot of research and pre-planning in their own head beforehand has to be done before they're willing to go ahead and drain their bank account. So when you keep the price relatively low and easy to afford, that means that you can catch your customers on impulse, which is exactly how you wanna be catching them, especially given that they're not in the frame of mind of a purchaser to begin with. They're simply on social media for their cheap dopamine hits. And the next point to growth potential is you wanna make sure that there isn't heavy constraints on the product you are selling, meaning that you should not be selling a product to a hyper specific targeted market, especially with TikTok organic. Why? Because that really harms your potential reach for the video to go viral in the algorithm. Look, it's not like running a Facebook ad where you can target specific demographics and groups of people even down to their interests, likes, and dislikes. With TikTok Organic, you post the video and hope that it can do well. You have no idea what eyeballs are initially landing onto your ad. So for this reason, it's best to pick a broad product that males can buy, females can buy, and people of pretty much any age can buy. For example, a niche of products that I always see doing very well are gadgets and electronics. These products can be purchased by anyone of any age and there's pretty much no restrictions. Now here's another bonus that nobody really talks about when it comes to criteria. You need to remove your own confirmation bias from your product research process. What I mean by this is you need to get out of your own frame of mind of thinking, what would I buy? Because newsflash, there's 3 billion other people shopping online that have different interests in you, that have different likes and dislikes, that are maybe of a different age, a different gender, and so you're not in their mind. You don't know what they're gonna buy. So start looking at consumer trends on the macro level rather than looking inside your own head for exactly what you would buy in your life. Now we've talked about what makes a good product, but when it comes to actually finding that product, there's four main criteria that you have to address. And I've ranked them from the highest priority to the lowest priority, so we need to structure our approach with this in mind. Number one, of course, the product. I mean, the uniqueness, the usefulness, the actual product and how good and effective it is itself is gonna be king. It's so much easier to market a product successfully, like I said, that practically sells itself. Number two, cost of the product. You need to keep the cost relatively low for the reasons I discussed before. Not only the price point you're selling the product at, but also the price that you acquire the product for. Because you're starting off with TikTok organic, I recommend at least a 2X markup. If you were starting off with paid ads, I would recommend two to three X plus. So finding a product research method where you can scout those slightly lower ticket products is gonna be essential. The third most important factor when deciding on your product research tool, how easy is it to actually go ahead and start using this product research method to acquire and find products? Is it something that's so difficult, so overwhelming, and so frustrating to the point where you're just gonna close your laptop and give up? Or is it a process that genuinely flows by and it's constantly spitting out winning products? And lastly, but still important, we have speed and efficiency. Money loves speed. So if you're spending all day just to come up with two winning products, that probably isn't the best use of your time. You need to be looking at product research tools and methods of finding products that is constantly spitting out winning products in a matter of minutes. All right, so now that you know what a winning product actually is and the most important factors that go into finding that winning product, it's time to get into the three product research methods that I default to every single time. Starting from the top, we have the free or the organic approach. And there's actually quite a few 
different ways to do this. So let's start with method number one, the TikTok method. I'm sure you've seen this method talked about a lot online, maybe even on TikTok as well. But this is basically where you scroll through TikTok and you search hashtag TikTok made me buy it. From there, you can go to the filters and you can search for the most liked and apply it in a three month time period. This is gonna give you the videos of specific products that have done the best over the past three months, as in they have the most engagements, likes, comments, things of that nature. Now here's a little bonus tip. If you see a product that's gone mega viral in the past three months, you wanna to go to the comment section and see what all the craze is about. Are people just roasting the product and it's becoming some kind of meme? Or are there a lot of comments such as I need this or I want this or even tags for their friends to buy it? You wanna be seeing people express demand for the product and not the other way around. Now assuming all the metrics are being hit for the particular product, you then need to go one step further and actually search for the product itself on TikTok. So for example, let's say it's the all too popular sunset lamp. You wanna search this product up and see exactly how many accounts are actively engaging in posting content of it. If every single person and their mom is posting content on it, guess what? It works. It's a good product. There's a reason why people are constantly posting content. It's because they're making money. So as much as that could be an amazing place to start, the Goldilocks zone is when there's only a few accounts posting a lot about it, but the masses haven't really caught on. and Every single dropshipper still doesn't know about it. This is typically somewhere between five to 10 accounts creating content of the product. Now, if you wanna go even further with this, if you only find one account that is going mega viral with the product, then you are in a very, very good position to be coming in as number two because you already have proof of concept and you can have insights into exactly what that TikTok page is doing. You can take that information and simply come in and do it a heck of a lot better. Now, the second method within the free method is actually just optimizing your TikTok account. So what you wanna do is you wanna set up a brand new, fresh TikTok account and you wanna start scrolling until you come across a dropshipping product. Once you came across that product, you wanna to go to the profile, potentially even follow the account, go to the link in bio and do a fake purchase. Run through their checkout process, put your credit card information in, but back out last second so you don't actually make the purchase. The TikTok pixel is gonna categorize you as a buyer and it's gonna start serving you up so many more products like that on your feed. Now for this method to truly work, you can also engage with the posts, but you need to make sure you are only interacting with dropshipping and e-commerce products on your feed and nothing else. I know it can be hard to avoid the girls and the fast cars, but do it for this account and you'll see great results and winning products served up to you every single day. The other free product research methods are what you see on screen. So let's go ahead and break them down. We have the AliExpress method, which is simply going onto the platform, scrolling around, looking at trending niches, looking at different seller accounts and seeing what's popping the most. Pretty straightforward. Pair this with the Chrome extension, Ali Niche, to further target into specific niches and you have yourself a pretty solid product research method for entirely free. Now the Timu method is basically the same thing. The Timu is basically a second AliExpress. It's Shanghai based, so it's a little bit different and sometimes has winning or viral products that haven't yet been seen by the masses. It's kind of like going on Chinese TikTok, which is also a great bonus tip if you can. Next, we have the TikTok ad library where you can go on and you can see all the ads posted by different companies that are currently trending in specific niches. This is truly an amazing tool and it's 100% free to go and scout out exactly what advertisements and what products are selling well on the platform for other people. All right, well, all those free methods are extremely useful. We now have to get into the paid methods that can help you save even more time and cut some more corners. There's so many softwares out there that help you with identifying products and getting you to those winners quick. Personally, Mynia and PP ads are my two favorites and I use them all the time. This video is not sponsored by them or anybody, by the way, but I'll have all the links down below because I do actively use these softwares myself. I have signed up to their affiliate program, so I would appreciate it if you guys use my discount code when you do sign up, but if not, no worries at all. These softwares allow you to spy on exactly what ads are running the best right now. So it's kind of like the TikTok ad library, but taken to a whole nother level where you can use specific filters. You can edit the date range to see products in the past week that have been selling well, the past month, three months, six months, and so on. You can also filter by the amount of likes, comments, shares, and you can search up specific terms that relate to that product or niche. Now, what I think is even more useful about these softwares is that once you actually have a product in mind, it becomes so easy to validate the product and get the product market fit that proof of concept that you need to look for before actually going and running a test on the product. The easiest way to do this is let's say you do decide to sell the sunset lamp. You can go ahead and search up sunset lamp on one of these softwares and you can easily see all of your competition's ads right there in front of you. This is where you can dissect what's working for others and what isn't. And if you've been in business school, this is where you can put to use your SWOT analysis. Now those spy tools are my go-tos and go-tos for a lot of guys who are crushing it in the space. However, there are a few other 
honorable mentions I just couldn't leave out. Anyhow, the three tools that are super useful are ShopHunter, Dropship.io, and Viral Vault. Dropship.io and ShopHunter are actually very similar tools. These are used for store tracking. So once you've found a product or an advertisement that's working extremely well, you can actually go to their landing page, copy and paste the URL, and put it into ShopHunter. And from there, it'll bring up all the backend analytics and data of that Shopify store. So you can spy on exactly how many orders they're doing per day and how much money they're making. It's absolutely crazy that you have access to all these insights at your fingertips. Viral Vault is another great product research tool that's actually actually founded by a friend of mine and other noteworthy and credible dropshipper in the space, Jordan Welch. Once you log in, you are brought to a page that has viral ad creatives from Facebook and TikTok and viral products that have been doing well over the past few weeks. Definitely a tool that I recommend you guys check out. Now the third and perhaps one of the most powerful methods out there is one that I coined as the supplier method. This one has personally contributed to 70% of the winning dropshipping products that I've found over the past four years. Now basically, this method comes down to building amazing relationships relationships with sourcing agents and suppliers. Let me explain why. So once you go to AliExpress or Alibaba and you can go down to the spot where it shows the supplier's name and contact information. What you want to do is you want to contact them and you want to take them over to WhatsApp, WeChat or Skype, typically the three places they don't mind chatting. And then you can further ask them some questions. And over time, you can start to build a great relationship with these private suppliers or sourcing agents. Now, the key here is that these people are actually in the warehouses in China. They know what products are moving. They have access to insights and data that nobody else does. And I'll tell you a funny story. One of the first agents that I ever had, I started communicating with her daily on WhatsApp. Not only was I fulfilling orders with her for my first winning store, but I was also just building a solid relationship and I was just genuinely curious and interested into her life as a private agent. Luckily, her English was pretty decent and over time, we actually started hopping on some calls and she started showing me the back end of the factory and other products that were selling. I think she took a little bit too much of an interest in me because at one point she would start start to say, hey, cutie, and be sending me hearts and stuff. It was actually super weird, but I completely leveraged that. And I kept those conversations going and I kept nurturing that relationship, you know, in the most friendly way possible. And what came of that was she was constantly giving me insights and data into their factory. She was showing me every single week the top products that were moving from some of their top clients. And I actually found one of the first products this way that I scaled to over six figures in a month. So thank you, Jane, if you're watching this. Now I'll have some of my own private sourcing agents linked down below in my entirely free program. So if you want to shortcut your way to winning products or potentially find a Jane of your own, make sure you check that out. Now there's some really important extra things that you need to be aware of. The first thing being you're not going to find a winning product in a matter of a few hours or even your first couple days. It does take time. You need to be diligent, hardworking, and consistent when it comes to finding those six and seven figure products. I remember when I was first starting out, it took me literally two months to find my first winner. But when I did, it took me less than 27 days to go from zero to $5,000 per day. The next tip I want to give you is to track all of your products. When I first got into the game, I was a bit cocky and I told myself, I'll just remember every single product that I come across. And guess what? It didn't work. I saw so many ads that I forgot about and had I remembered, I probably could have scaled up to some serious numbers over time. But that's why I'm telling you this now. As you can see on my screen, this is what my product template looks like and how my product research team actually goes about finding and tracking winning products. And just as a little side note, I'll leave that sheet entirely for free for you guys in the description. But all I'm asking for in return is that you smash a huge thumbs up for your boy so all of this value can get pushed out to more people in the algorithm. There's two more insanely important things to go over and that's finding and capitalizing on trends and picking the best product research method possible. So don't go anywhere. As you can see on screen, there are three key tools for identifying trends. Google Trends, Exploding Topics, and just social media as a whole. When it comes to social media, you need to be scrolling and staying up to date with what's going viral on TikTok. Potentially, you can find a product. Potentially, you can find a marketing angle or a unique way to market an existing product and make a lot more money. Now, when it comes to Google Trends and Exploding Topics, all you have to do is search up key search terms. It'll show you the type of volume. So let's say I wanted to look up kitchen gadgets or cooking. I can see in this month or in this year how trendy that search term is relative to previous moments in time. This is extremely valuable because it can help you capitalize and identify trending niches and also specific trending products and search terms in which gives you a much better chance at actually selling those. And now perhaps the most important part tying this all together is we need to pick the most important product research tool for you to start finding those winners right now. So on screen here, you'll see my winning method chart. And this is where I took the three different methods, organic, paid, supplier, and ranked them based on the four criteria. Now, obviously with 
product being the number one priority, it's weighted at a 20 and the others are weighted at a 10. So as you can see, Organic has taken the cake for the best product research method for beginners to get started right now. This is because the cost gets a 10 out of 10, it's entirely free. The product gets a 15 out of 20, as in you can find very solid products this way. The ease of use is a 10 out of 10. I mean, it cannot be any easier to type a couple of things in on TikTok and the speed is seven out of 10. You can find products relatively quickly using this method. That results in a 42 out of 50 and beats the scores for both the paid and the supplier method. Now, although my personal favorite has to go out to the supplier method because I've found, like I said, the majority of my winners that way. And I just feel like not that many people at all are going through the process of building their supplier list and actually building real relationships with their suppliers, getting them that insider access so that you have the competitive edge over every other dropshipper. Though I will say, if you have a few extra bucks to spare and you're not an entire beginner, the paid method probably will take the cake just because of simply how fast and easy it is to acquire new products every single day. But if you really wanna knock e-commerce out of the park, my recommendation would be to use all three of these methods. Set aside one to three hours every single day to dive into product research using all three methods. And with that guys, that's pretty much all I got. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I feel like there's some insane, insane value in here. So share it to a friend, share it to a family member. I'll also leave in the description below a recent video that I put out breaking down exactly how to start e-commerce. But as always, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in a few days for some more insane value. Peace.